everybody, welcome back to the workshop. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video of me making this little candelier, um, or as it's later known as a chandelier once you start adding more branches and things like that. A uh, Couple things to note and point out about the video on this project. I chose to make it with three branches. You can make it with four. Uh, you could make it with really as many branches as you like. Uh, the simplest form that you can do is three and then also, you know, just think about the repeating elements here. So once you already know how to take care of the ends here and how to weld something together with the one forge weld that you have up at the top, everything else becomes super easy from there. It's just adding more branches and you can let your mind really go wild. That's one thing I like about some forged luminaries is they do cause you to think a little bit outside the box, get out of your comfort zone, and think about making something for lighting. Now, who is this for? This is purely an outdoor decoration or an indoor decoration with a lot of adult supervision. So you do, it was common in history that houses did burn down from time to time because of a candle left by a bedside somewhere or, and or you know one of these drip fell off hit a carpet and boom right enveloped somebody's home so you definitely don't want to do that this is great if you want to have a bunch of these maybe in your barn um, for when you're doing parties assuming it's not like a hay barn like if you have an entertaining place that you have a gazebo um, it could be inside your house on some nice hooks away from the walls with a good enough space and constantly monitored as well. Obviously the light source on this is not going to be as good as a regular modern light bulb. So that is something to take and keep in mind if you do plan on making these as lighting fixtures. One quick note about if you ever plan on selling something like this to a customer, you need to make it very, very clear that you are not held responsible or liable for anything they choose to do with this as far as lighting this up. Um, you want to be real careful on that because again, you don't want to make claims like, oh yeah, perfectly safe, put it inside your motor vehicle, right? Like you, you don't want to make any wild claims. You want to make sure that you stay as hand off and as stupid free as possible if you can. But yeah, a really cool historic way of making, you know, a little uh, a candelier, like I said. This could, be, this could be totally embellished however you like. You see them with collars, you see them with twists, you see these branches welded onto other branches that are scrolls and so on and so forth and it just gets bigger and bigger and bigger until you get into chandelier territory. Um, so again, a real fun project. I challenge you all to give it a shot if you know if you have interest in forged luminaries things of that nature it can be a neat thing that you can have around when you're entertaining guests even out in the yard uh, again can be a very cool thing and the ambiance is absolutely epic in comparison to bright lights anyways that's it for today thank you to all of my channel members out there for making content like this possible um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if this type of content is something you're into. We have done surpassed 1,600 videos now on this channel of blacksmithing. So if you have a question about it, chances are I have answered it already in video format. All you got to do is type in the search bar your question and then put Christ Center Ironworks at the end of that tag and I guarantee you I will probably have a video that has already addressed whatever question you may have. So I hope that'll be helpful to you. Again, thank you to all the channel members. God bless you each and every last one of you. We really couldn't do it without your support. And until uh, next time, we'll catch you all in the next one. Thank you so much for watching.